Down syndrome. What kinds of sight or impression that slides in your mind after hearing these words? Is it people who have the same yet distinctive pattern of physical characteristics, especially on your face? The research of black and school, or the tall skin in the corner of their eyes, large tongue, and many other characteristics? Or maybe people with lack of intellectual or practical ability? Yes, that's enough to describe people with Down syndrome. But have you ever wondered on how people with Down syndrome communicate with others despite their likeness? And what kinds of difficulties they have when they wanted to communicate with others, when they wanted to do this verbal activity? So my paper from this fifth semester during my college study discussed about this topic on how people with Down syndrome communicate with others through their disabilities. And the approach I used is psycholinguistics, in which I could observe the linguistic behavior that happened with people with Down syndrome. And the subject of my research is my own brother, who is a Down syndrome, so that I could take a closer look on daily conversation. For example, I could scrutinize the linguistics behavior while the subject is doing talking, mimicking, complaining, and also arguing activity. But don't you think that the discussion will be so wide? That's why I made a limitation into this research, which are only focused on speech inequalities, associated behavior, and also the correlation between Down syndrome and its influence toward their speech ability. So now, you can imagine that there might be an interaction between Down syndrome people and non-Down syndrome people. While in interaction, there will always be a communication. So you might find that one part will have difficulty to speak, while another part will have difficulty to understand what is said. And to make this clear on how the Down syndrome comply their meaning, psycholinguistics is access to discuss to analyze the linguistic behavior and also psychological process that happened in people with Down syndrome. And the result will say that people with Down syndrome will tend to have grammatical error, mispronouncing, lack of syllable and words, and also repetition. And also they will show the expressive demeanor on their face to support their feeling. While they also display the movement, for example, if they are hungry, they will rub their stomach and they feel something of their body, they will part, they will touch their body part. And also, if they are disagree, they will shake their head and they will not think when they agree. So, I hope I could answer all the proposed questions. And one thing to be noted is that people with whatever kinds of disabilities, with difficulties they have, they will always find a way to comply their feeling, to communicate their feeling. Thank you.